Hi, I was told you were here to pick up your medication. My name is Olivia and I'm a pharmacist here. Hi. So I just wanted to verify uh, your name and date of birth. Is this correct? Jim Clark, 12-3-1955? That's me, yep. Perfect. And today you are picking up warfarin. Uh, does that sound correct? Sure. Okay. What did uh, the doctor tell you about this medication? Um, he told me that it was for my heart, um, probably a few other things, but I don't really remember. Okay. So this is, there is a lot um, about this medication. Do you have a couple minutes for us to discuss? I just want to make sure you're taking it safely and effectively. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, good deal. So this medication is called Warfarin. It also goes by the name Coumadin. Your doctor prescribed you five milligrams for which you will take um, every day, preferably at the same time of the day. You do have three refills with this medication. And if you look at these tablets, they're a peach orangish color. And that's indicative of the dose. With this medication specifically, different doses come in different colors. So you're just going to want to make sure that the tablets that you are taking are this peach orangish color. Okay. And so, um, like you said, this medication is for your atrial fibrillation, which is where the heart um, has a, a varying rhythm. Mm -hmm. And what that can do is form a clot, which can then um, go to your head, which we do not want. Um, this medication is to help prevent that. Um, but just so that you're aware, some signs of, of a stroke, if that does happen, are just facial droopiness. Um, your arms can also go down a little bit if you stick them out. Um, if you notice this or someone else notices it, it is an emergency, and you'll want to call 911. And with that being said, you just don't want to miss a dose with this medication. It's very important that you don't miss a dose. And so, like I said, it's taken every day. So if you come up, if you remember that same day, you can go ahead and take it. But if you're getting too close to your second dose, you're not going to want to stack the medication. Just okay. wait until your next dose and the next time um, contact your provider. Um, something else that can be super helpful with this medication is to take a log. So all, all of your appointments, all of your labs, which we'll talk about in a minute, when you took it, if there was any deviations from treatment, um, and that can help um, optimize uh, your therapy with warfarin. Okay, you can do that. So yeah, and I see here on uh, your, your list, you're taking ibuprofen, is that correct? It's um, for my arthritis pain. Okay, um, that does interact with warfarin. This medication is very sensitive in the fact that diet, um, other medications uh, can interact with it and, and change how it is supposed to work. Okay. And so uh, one of the things, um, so the ibuprofen you're gonna wanna stop. Okay. Yeah, okay. but something else that we can put in its place is Tylenol, or it's also known as acetaminophen. It is over the counter, uh, but you can also take that for your, um, you can take that for your arthritis pain. Okay. So one of the things that you'll note, um, I did receive from your provider that you have an appointment coming up. Do you recall that? Um, yeah, I think it's in three three days. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Follow up with with the doctor. Yeah. So what they're one of the things that they're going to be checking is called INR. It's it's a blood draw for which they draw the labs. The INR is a number that's given in regards to how quickly your blood clots. Okay. And your goal for the uh, for the AFib is going to be two point two to three, mm -hmm. and so that's gonna be kind of your happy place. And you will have more lab draws and probably more doctor visits at the start until they can kind of even you out with the correct dosage for the medication. Um, but but that's that's what your uh, next doctor appointment is more than likely for. Okay. Yeah. So that was kind of a lot. Do you have any questions for me up to this point? Do you know how long I'm gonna to have to take this medicine for? Yeah, so this I don't is- I'm taking a lot of medicine, so. I totally understand. This is a long-term therapy medication. Um, because of your AFib. So you will want to, on top of not missing a dose, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you take this continuously and don't abruptly stop it. Um, it can result in uh, it can result in clots and things like that, which you don't want. Um, but I totally understand not wanting to take the medication, but this is one that you're definitely gonna to wanna to have on board. This is gonna help you. Is that important? Yeah, this is a really important one. Okay. And uh, like I said, there are a lot of interactions with it. So any medications, whether that be prescription, over-the-counter herbal supplements, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to talk with either myself, a pharmacist here, or your provider before starting those, just to run an interaction check because there is so many with this medication. Okay. But there are good outcomes with people with warfarin, so okay. we just wanna make sure to keep you on board with that. Okay. All right, so a couple things to note, like I said, is this medication can work differently based on um, diet and other medications. Diet specifically, it has to do with vitamin K. So our body does not make vitamin K, and so all of the vitamin, take, the vitamin K intake that we control can alter the medication. Oh. And so you'll see here, and this handout is for you that you can take home with you, this, uh, this list of foods here are ones that are rich in, vi in vitamin K. So those are your greens, your broccoli, kale, lettuce. I wanna reiterate that it's not that you need to avoid 
these because they are healthy foods for you. It's just a matter of maintaining consistency with how you take them. And so that'll help maintain your vitamin K levels, um, which will keep your INRs, which is the lab that they'll test for, that'll kind of keep that consistent. Okay. And then additionally, um, also another reiteration, you just want to make sure that any new medications you start, you want to notify uh, your your doctors before you start taking them. Additionally, any appointments you go to, so like let's say the dentist, you'll want to make sure to tell them that you're on warfarin. Oh, okay. Yeah, and also like they do have like medicine bracelets or little cards that you can keep in your wallet, um, which of course we don't want this to happen, but if any case you were an emergency and first responders had to respond, um, they would want to know that you're on warfarin. Okay. Yeah. So some side effects to look out for with this medication um, are bleeding. Uh, so if you see, uh, if you're brushing your teeth and you kind of see some bleeding there or nosebleeds, you also want to do a stool checks uh, to make sure that you don't see any light or dark blood. Um, mm -hmm. It'll just look kind of dark and tarry. So just check that. Also, if for some reason you vomit and you see coffee ground type um, substance in your vomit, you're going to want to make sure to notify your healthcare provider. And if you're feeling bad, go to the emergency room. Oh. So, because mm -hmm. we want to make sure that um, this medication is doing its job, but it's not doing it too well. Okay. So. Um, you'll want to make sure of that. Also, th these are this is a rare occurrence, but it's, it's called purple toe. Mm -hmm. um, so any skin changes or, disc or discoloration that you see, um, mainly in the per in the legs, or um, you know arms or fingers or anything or toes, just make sure you notify your provider. So, do you have any questions for me? Um, no, I think this has a lot of information, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Uh I got it. Uh, the food can't take my ibuprofen. Got to use the uh, the acetaminophen instead. Yeah. So the acetaminophen, you're not going to want to take. Uh, you're not going to want to take it. Um, you know, too frequently. Um, two grams a day of that is 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 where you want to kind of cap off. And oh. if you are still having arthritic pain, um, we can talk to your provider about what to do from there. Okay. All right. Yep. And then so the diet and then the medications. This is a list of medications um, that you'll want to stray away from. That includes aspirin. And any NSAID, so naproxen oh, or ibuprofen, oh. yep, you're going to want to stay away from okay. that. And like I said, what you have currently on your list right now is good to go. Um, but you just want to make sure anything new that you add. Um, Got to talk to them first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. you're going to want to talk to your provider and then kind of keep your food intake consistent um, as well. So Okay, well, no, I think I've got it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat back to me just a couple of high points that we talked about so I know you understand? Um, don't miss any doses. Um, if I do, use my log to note it down. Um, the diet, as far as uh, keeping it consistent, mm -hmm. don't really change it up a bunch. Uh, can't, yeah, again, can't use my ibuprofen, but we'll try that acetaminophen. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. And you do have, so right now you do have 30 pills in here. You do have three refills. So once you start getting low to around four to five pills, just give me a call. You are going to want to store this away from kids, away from pets. This is... Um, an unsafe medication if it gets in the hands of people that it's not supposed to be in. So mm -hmm. you're just going to want to make sure to kind of keep this in an inconspicuous place. And I can do that. all right, that sounds good. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call sure at the pharmacy. Yeah, <laughs> any questions you have or anything new, um, let us know and uh, we'll see you then. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you so you. much.